When you think of Zap Lolo, you think of the Log Launcher, but today Stars, who is first, second, fourth, and sixth in the world, showed us in his live attacks that sometimes using the Drill and the Blimp is best. Here we go, coming in with the Zap. Sorry that was quite zoomed out there. My only problem with casting Zap Lolo is because people start with the Zap in the Quake, right? Because people start with it, you kind of need to be commentating preemptively. Because otherwise, if I just start commentating as the zap goes down, you won't really see the zap if you're watching on a... If you're watching as part of like a YouTube video. Live on stream, it's fine. But on the YouTube video, not as much. Uh, but you s we also get the multi and the expo down. Does not get the rage tower. That should be okay though. Because the queen's job is just to get the town all here. In fact, we're going to invest the king as well. I guess we did need the funnel for the king, but I didn't think we'd use the king, honestly. I just figured stars would have a way to get the town all down with just the queen. The king will get a bit of value here, though, so can't really complain about that. Now, this sweeper is an issue. Yeah, this sweeper is definitely an issue. Now, there's something worth noting. I'm going to point this out right now, actually. Can, if the queen can deal with the CC, that'd be super nice. But I'm going to point this out. Nine times out of ten in the past, you're doing uh, Zap Lolo on a box or a diamond base. You will take advantage of the Log Launcher. The Log Launcher, extremely effective. But you see, we're coming in with the Drill here. Now, why are we coming in with the Drill? Well, look at this back-end Monolith. You would not Zap that Monolith. It's not enough value in the core of the base for Zap Lalo. But you also don't want to just suey into the monolith and two ground bows. Uh, you probably zap one. But yeah, you don't want to suey into the monolith. Because your heroes will just get wrecked or the log launcher. And you're just not going to get much value at all. So what does stars do? We're not using that at all. We're sueying the town hall. Then we're going to use the drill with the RC. The drill and the RC together are an insane combination. They are so good. So much stunning going on. Nearly as stunning as stars himself. And uh, look, this is going to work. What a beautiful attack. I really like how he went about this. You might think I'm preemptively calling this. But the Yeti might just tank in, in the core of the base whilst the Lalo comes around the edge. We have so many balloons up. That was sick. Notice, go back and watch this. It's a YouTube live stream, so you can. Or YouTube videos, you definitely can. Have a look at how few balloons he placed at the start. But if you have the RC, if you have the drill together with a Rage... You only need like six balloons and you'll overwhelm the core of the base. Also came behind both sweepers. Something worth noting. Surely Rage Tower Expo Sweeper? What is... Let's see what it goes for here. No? Okay. Not going for what I expected. And saying that, fair enough. You, you do love to get a Multi Inferno down. So yeah, Multi Inferno Expo Builder Hut. Starting this Sui. And this is nice. Look at this. There's not much damage on the left side of this corner. There's also impossible for the queen to really walk around at this point. So we can walk an entire side of the base. Skeleton spells maybe a little bit early. That's alright though. Unfortunate. He wanted the ice golem to tank the king there. Alas, the ice golem did not tank the king. See, he's kind of burning through headhunters at this point at an unsustainable rate. He's only got one headhunter left, and he's going to deal with one and a quarter heroes. Really nice that he somehow hasn't activated the town hall yet. King, don't do it. The king really wants to do it. Can this ice golem hurry up and die? There we go. Look at this. Still hasn't activated the town hall, and that's good because it's just less damage on our heroes. Now we do. Queen takes down the monolith. King takes down the town hall. Can the queen not stand in the town on poison? Yeah, that's actually really nice. There goes our head hunter. And here we go with the drill RC combination. Something that you don't really see from a lot of Zap Lolo players unless they're stars. And what we'll see here, we saw it the, before when he used the drill and the RC together, is that we're not deploying that many balloons. Look at that. We are still hanging on to 14 balloons. But that's okay. Because it's, this is just a push... Uh, a couple of loons with our RC and drill. Well, like 10-ish. And then the remaining lava hounds and uh, 14 balloons. 
No Warden support, but coming around that back end of the base, doing their absolute best. And look at that, the Lava Hounds are just tanking perfectly. The Yetis have come out. I think our RC's dead, but I can't tell. Nope. Well, I see a Diggy. I don't see the RC. Yeah, she's died somewhere. That's alright. This is wrecked. Nicely done here from Stars. In saying that, the Yeti really does need to get rid of that Sweeper. Finally does. Diggy is just way too much done. We've got like a million pets still up. There's a Phoenix. There's a Diggy. There's an Owl. This base is wrecked. GG's to Stars. And this looks like a really solid way of taking down Diamond Bases. These Diamond Bases think they're so ahead of the meta. But we're not using the Log Launcher with Zap Wallet by default anymore. You're seeing a lot more blooms and a lot more drills. There is a lot of good Zap value on this base. Let's see what Stars goes for. He can get two Expos and a Poison Tower. But he does go for the Multi and the Expo. Um... Generally nicer to go for that because A, you don't have to activate the tunnel with a Quake. Although you wouldn't have had to with the Expos, I guess. Um, but also you love getting rid of like these corner buildings in the core. Because it's easier to set a funnel rather than like the Expos and the Poison Towers. Now ring base here. And by default, we are not going to use a blimp. Uh, a, sorry, a log launcher. There is no point ever using a log launcher on a ring base for... I mean... The only strategy where you should is if there's two invis towers and you're doing a smash attack. Otherwise, no way you should ever use log launcher on a ring. So what is Stars going to use here? He is going to use a blimp. I can guarantee... Obviously, he's already got the blimp in his uh, inventory, so you probably think I'm just looking at that. But no, I could have told you as soon as I saw the base. Going to blimp the town hall, use the rage with the yetis, but also angle the rage back so that the loons can use it too. To get the defenses in the core of the base. You see those loons are raged on the expo here. Beautifully done. Now unfortunately the pathing's really bad here. These loons not really going where we want. And actually pulling the warden away. Are you serious? I thought the warden would have followed the royal champion there. Lalo's coming across the top. I mean this is still a triple anyway. This is still a triple anyway. These loons with the royal champion should just overwhelm the back end of the base. And that right there is how you kind of take down a ring. Particularly like a high DPS ring like this. You don't need to do your Sui for like 50 years. Just get your Lalo started as soon as you've got somewhat of a funnel. Uh, try and deal with the CC with your... Oh wow, this is going to get close. There's no way this fails. I was doing such a good job commentating. Come on, Al. Come on, Al. Okay. Not even close. Not even close. But I think this sums it up pretty well. This is the best approach to take down a ring base with Zap Lalo. But you're not often going to overkill it. It's still not... You don't love hitting uh, a ring base with this army. It's definitely the weakest base for it. But can still work out. But yeah, as you see, never use Log Launcher. Always use Blimp on ring bases. All right, let's see what he comes in with. Yep, no surprise there. As, uh, as uh, just before he went in with the Zap Quake there, I literally said, I know what he's going to do. And it was exactly that. You see it on box spaces all the time, particularly from Stars. Loves going after those core expos and multis that you see together. But you don't see him come in with a Yeti Bomb much. You do not see him come in with a Yeti Bomb much. In fact, a Yeti Bomb is just very unusual with this army. What in the Yeti Bomb value? The Yeti Bomb was baited. We found two Sams. Still got over the wall. Deals with the enemy queen. And then activates this poison tower. Look at how far that is away. But the Yeti Mites are just on one today. Now let's analyze this quickly. Because obviously Zap over here. And normally you'd send the Log Launcher straight through here. But that multi would burn our Log Launcher alive. Like the Log Launcher would not get very far. Yeah, I, I kind of respect this, honestly. This will be very interesting to see, though. This will be very interesting to see. Because look at this weird Lalo path with left SLs. It's not really a uh, typical Lalo path. Not really normally what you want. But, I mean, Stars can do any Lalo. It doesn't really matter. Let's see how he does this. I mean, this is a perfect Sui. The King's still got so much health as well. The King should actually go in and get this scatter. We've funneled for the King perfectly. And the King might tank the ground bow now. 
Wait a second, can they- how far can this queen go? I assume the double poison will hurt. Imagine if she somehow got to the eagle. Okay, she's not going to. The scatter has other ideas. And yeah, I thought he might do this. Just gonna spam straight into the highest DPS part. It doesn't really make sense from a pathing perspective, but he doesn't need pathing here. He just needs to take down the high value targets as quickly as possible and just leave nothing up. Now, the eagle is going to hit our balloons here. That is a problem. Free spells being used to deal with the multi, and then, yeah, the RC is going to clean up the base. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. That was such a cool hit. Now, don't get me wrong. Got a little lucky with the Yeti Bob, but I still think he triples this even without it. RC ability goes off. Wrecked. So wrecked. Oh. Bases are setting up more and more to stop Zaplali with more DPS on the back end. But Stars is always one step ahead of the meta. This sort of diamond base is going to be super interesting to see what he does. Okay. He zaps the back end. And it looks like we're going to come in with the log launcher approach. Now, we're seeing consistently today, Stars hasn't never log launched it on a diamond. In fact, we saw it in the previous attack, but has rarely done it. And it's he hasn't done it specifically when there is like a monolith on the back end of the base or just a huge amount of damage there. But there's not a huge amount of damage there for this attack. In fact, the damage on this base is very much spread throughout the base. Also, suing this town hall looks incredibly difficult to funnel in the queen. Um... Stars is only really sueyed in for the Town Hall when it's a nice, easy suey and uh, not too much DPS. So yeah, Log Launcher going to come in here and, I mean, you can see the value it's going to get. Unfortunately, it probably would have opened up to the Monolith if it weren't for the defensive uh, Ice Golems freezing up, but that's okay. The Yeti Mites are going to, or the Yeti, sorry, going to tank for the Queen just a little bit here. Alright, we get the Queen in the core. Our Ice Golem comes in. Keep in mind, we didn't use our Ice Golem with the Queen and the King because it wasn't necessary. Just not a lot of damage on the back end. But the Ice Golem comes in here on delay. We actually still have not used the RC. I really like the delay, except for the fact that we still haven't taken down the defensive RC. <laughs> nice headhunter. Unicorn's trying to switch. Come on, can we keep the Unicorn alive? We've got a Royal Champion charge. Love to see it. Freeze that Rage Tower on the multi immediately. You do not want a Rage Tower activating early with that multi because it will destroy your entire Lalo. Nice Warden pop. Actually, I lie. That's a really unfortunate Warden ability. The Warden's just got zero brain cells. By the way, the Royal Champion charge in the base is going fantastic. But yeah, if only the Warden could follow every group of balloons and actually be intelligent. Three Headhunters and a Skeleton spell to take out the defensive Queen. That sounds like enough. Looks like our Royal Champion has gone down. But we've just got to overwhelm this scatter here. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of loons grouped up together. But we've got the Diggy up. We've got the Unicorn up. We've got the Owl up. How many pets do you need? Oh, this is crushed. Nicely done from Stars here. And this, this right here shows when you should be using the Log Launcher on a Diamond Base. When... A, the main factors we saw, really difficult to sue the Town Hall and not a lot of damage on the back end. Also, our zaps in this compartment here set up a perfect funnel. So hopefully that clears it up for you there, but you should definitely, definitely look at using the drill and occasionally the blimp more often.